Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an ebook with the help of Sigil ebook editor. So go to the website sigil slash ebook.com. You can also Google for the name Sigil ebook editor and you will be redirected to this website. Then you have this get button. Clicking on it will take you to the link called releases. Okay, so here you'll find binaries or installer paragraph where we have this releases link. This should take you to GitHub website where latest release is 0.8.6. Select the version that applies for your operating system. For me, it is Windows X64, and I'm going to click on it. After installation, you'll find Sigil in your Windows All Programs and Sigil folder. Okay, here is the Sigil. You can also talk to this menu click on it and it will open a window with blank project so each blank project has this blank section in text folder here you can keep on adding the sections which is basically a blank HTML file okay so it will keep on adding here so whenever you want to use a custom style sheet Click on styles folder and blank style sheet so you can have a different color for a particular font or different paragraph color for let's say section 2 you can have that you can also drop images by clicking on images folder and then you will find this menu add blank SVG image or existing files then you have specific fonts to use audio video and other files that you want to use there is also toc ncx which you can edit or it gets automatically embedded in your document so first thing you're going to do is you're going to have a text for your epub edit let me just pause it for a moment So I have this text here which I want to use in Sigil chapters. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and going to paste it in Sigil. So if I want to make a chapter with this name, all I have to do is click on H2 tag which will create a bold heading. This will also be used to create your chapter name. So let's go with the second chapter. Me copy name history and I'm going to paste it here. Let me copy the text too and have one more section name with location design. Okay, so here's our okay. So let me copy this, make it edge to here. Same with this page too so you have three pages so far you can save it with the name let's say you have history as epub name okay so you have three sections now the thing with this ebook is all the pages are connected without page break you can add the page break by clicking on tools or you can select insert split marker which will add marker here which doesn't look good while navigating so one thing you can do is you can add blank html after this then after second chapter so by this you have a separator with a blank page so when you have too much text in between the two chapter such blank pages will have it in separation so once you have that let's go for tools also add 
table of contents or metadata editor this is where you add your book name author name as let's say choose history writer okay here you have a date for modifications as well you can add a few more rules like let's say analyst animator architect artist author dialogue book designer etc etc you're gonna keep adding everything to give credit to and this file will remember that after that you can also check your ebook for validation clicking on that will show you what elements are missing so here is the element that language is missing okay also the title seems to be missing these two you have to add for validating your epub okay there is this code view and there is also a view called book view book in book view you type it just like word or any other text editor with formatting options given to you then you have few plugins here which you can download from sigil repository then there is spell check you can go for spell check and check each and every word that is appearing in your text okay <laughs> then you have table of contents which is very important uh, this toc.ncx which for movie format usually people ship it separately but in case of epub editor you get it built in so click on tools menu then table of contents and click on generate table of contents you can also go for html table of contents here you have this start button let me close this one and first create table of content based on these three titles let's just click on ok and this we we have table of contents right here okay so let's go ahead and create HTML version of it now you have HTML version you can also use it for navigation okay so you can add this version in your movie file as well only file you need to add is toc.xhtml and toc.n6 so this is how you get to create your epub if you are just an author simply type your text or just copy paste from word to text editor like notepad so that it removes any formatting that you have and you have to do the formatting from scratch right here once you are done simply save it and then use kindle previewer to convert into a movie file so i hope so far you have found this tutorial helpful i have covered some of the basics on how to create ebook with this jill and this explanation is enough to get you head start on creating ebooks so, so in future tutorials i will cover a few more in-depth topics thank you